To explain paper bulk, let's have a closer look at the very nature of paper. In this example, we enlarge the paper fibres for a graphic explanation. Paper bulk is measured in cubic centimetres per gram and states how big the volume one gram of paper has. Bulk is the reverse of density. A paper with higher density has a lower bulk value, meaning it's more compact. And of course, the opposite is true for paper with low density. It contains more air, and so the volume is bigger. Imagine that you have a sheet of paper that weighs 50 gram per square meter. This paper has a bulk of 0.9 and a caliper thickness of 45 micrometers. If you compare this paper with another paper of the same grammage, but with a bulk of 1.1, the caliper thickness will increase to 55 micrometers. This means that the paper weighs the same, but the sheet is actually thicker because it has lower density and contains more air. This is why you should stop thinking of your ideal paper as defined by its grammage, or weight per square meter, and instead focus on the thickness of the paper sheet. If you do that, you'll see that a high bulk paper can give you the same thickness in micrometers as your old paper. It will just weigh less as it contains more air. When you buy paper in tons, what you really want to get out of those reels is square meters of printing surface. If the paper weighs less per square meter, you'll get more surface for each ton that you buy. In some cases, the difference in weight can be as much as 16%. Imagine how much money that is. And there are even more benefits with using a high bulk paper. Since the paper contains more air and is thicker, you get a higher opacity compared to a paper with the same grammage but lower bulk. The opacity is a measurement that tells you the amount of light which can be transmitted through the paper sheet. Although these two papers weigh the same, the bulk makes a big difference to the opacity. Furthermore, a high bulk paper made from fresh wood fibres in a thermomechanical pulping process is stiff, even in lower grammages. Since the high bulk paper has a bigger volume, it maintains its stiffness, even at lower grammages, and so a light paper does not have to result in a floppy end product, just because it's lightweight. Using a paper that weighs less allows you to lower your distribution costs. Every gram you save on each unit can make a huge difference when you add them all up.